What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a great day out here at Inverness Country Club. Fun little match in store. Gonna be playing Marshall here in the background today in a nine hole match. Little contingency for me in this match. As much as I love the Seymour putter, Marshall said I can't use it today. Marshall pulled this out of the closet and uh, the, uh, the old putter ball. I think uh, it's gonna make things interesting today for uh, the Zaxter. This right here is the putter ball. It's basically a golf ball on the end of a golf club. The room for error, not very big on this thing. So we're gonna hit a few of these, see if I can even roll a putt true. And these greens are fast. This is the first attempt with the putter ball. Let's see how it goes. No way. If I don't hit one off the center, I want to show y'all what can happen. Just like that, way offline. There we go. Did you see how quick that green is? That is crazy fast. We're going to take you straight over one tee. All right, we are here on number one, par four, 358 yards. Last time we had a match, me against you, was the steal in my clubs, and I did get the victory. Yeah, yeah, that uh, I didn't fare too well um, in that match. I don't think I had it set up just right. I think maybe we should have taken more clubs or played more holes. So that kind of got me on that one. I, I do want to mention, though, um, that's definitely like top 10 video on the channel. I'm just <laughs> saying, I don't, it's not necessarily maybe because of me, but maybe it is. I don't know, but just throwing that out there. Uh, Zach's been playing pretty good uh, yesterday, had a lot of birdies, uh, so I'm trying to handicap him with a putter. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. To get high, let it fly. This match is going to be nine holes straight up, front nine out here at Inverness, except for I do have to use the putter ball for all putts. Can't use my Seymour today. Marshall found the trees, but does have a little gap. Marshall has 90 yards left. Ooh, he hit that well. Just a little short right, not in bad shape. Hit that drive well, but did end up here in the left side rough. Not the best angle, 42 yards left. Need to throw this high, have it land soft. These greens are firm, so anywhere roughly 20 feet to the hole for birdie would be a good shot from here. And that is where this putter becomes very difficult. Oh, that was a bogey for me. This is Marshall's par putt for the win. Good roll. I'll give that to you, Marsh. Those short knee knocker, two, three, four footers are gonna be very difficult with the putter ball. Was a three putt right there. Both made bogey, yeah, all not, square. Not, not the best of starts, but hey, we're, we're all square. We're all we square. are. We're on to number two, par five, straight away, little down the hill, 522 yards.
All right, Marshall's not in too bad a shape right here. Not ideal, probably just a little, little lay up here. A little lay up. Green sits off kind of back in there, and I do believe he's going to be laying up in that direction. You hit that one well. Down the left side. Should be in good shape. Good shape here, middle of the fairway, 250 yards left to a back pin location. These greens are firm, so I don't want to be landing anything up around the hole. Want to land something kind of front middle of the green. I've got a four iron here, hoping to roughly carry this 230. I didn't come here to lay up. I left that out a little right. Did clip the trees. Gonna have to go find it. All right, we got Marshall here. Great angle into the green. 154 yards left. Oh, that was struck well. Right side of the green. Stay. Should be just fine. All right, so we did make solid contact with one of those trees up there. Bounced straight backwards. Have roughly 70 yards left, maybe even 75. Didn't bring the right club, Marshall. All I brought over here hate was a lob it. wedge That's and all I can say. Just hate to see it, Zach. We've got some tree trouble up there, so I need to play something a little lower. Maybe a little baby fade with the 8 iron. We need to hit a little baby cut right here, see if we can do it. I needed that to land just a couple feet shorter to kind of knock off some of that speed just a little long. That was a great effort from out of the trees right there. Almost hit the pin. Did trundle off the back edge. A little flop. This is good speed. That is on a pretty good line. Great roll right there, sir. Just a little chicken left on the bone. Easy par. Oh, that is a painful bogey right there. And with that, Marshall takes a one-up lead through two. That was a great two putt. The, the putter ball, putter ball is working them out. <laughs> the putter ball sure is. We're on to number three. Par three, pretty flat here, 147 yards. We're both putting. Alright, walking up here with the putter ball. Marshall right there. I'm right over there. There is the hole. I think Marshall is out by just a few feet. Just a few. How's the putter feeling today? Putter feels great, Zach. Putter feels great. Nice, you know, mallet putter. Lots of room to, to mess the ball. Uh, very balanced, <laughs> uh, well-designed putter. That is a quick putt, but I think it scared him. Uh, I did not hit that. Uh, just a little wide right. Not an easy putt from there, though. These greens are fast. Really not bad speed. That was a huge two-putt par right there. And that levels the match. All square through three. 
Kind of, kind of gave him one there. Uh, pretty bad three putt on my part, but uh, that's the last one I'm giving him. You heard it right there. No more three putts. I'm not wanting any more three putts. I had one on the first hole. The putter ball, yeah, you know, we're getting used to it. Number four, par four, 371. Little dog leg to the left, but the tee shot plays pretty straight. I'm not gonna lie, the compression on that stinger right there was like top five stingers in a long time. I hit that one well. That was hit really well down the right side. Drawing back a little bit. Yep, right side of the fairway. Trundling right on down. Marshall has 145 yards left, pitching wedge in hand. Let's see if he can't knock it close. Ninety-five yards left, lob wedge in hand, let's knock it close. From here, it looks pretty good. I'm not sure on the distance. Let's go find out. Not in bad shape here, Marshall. If you're gonna miss it on this hole, this is where you wanna be. Hit that hole heavy, came a bull short. Uh, I got to just, you know, chip this one in. Gives back uh, something to look at. Mine landed right there, trundled up to here. Roughly 15 feet left for birdie. What a chip. Great shot, sir. Marshall tapped this in for his par. Never a doubt. Pin slammer with the putter ball. Are you serious? Let's go. Marshall, how'd you feel with the putter ball pin um. slam and birdie? Was not planning on you making any uh, birdies with that putter, Zach, to be honest. Especially not from that length. After I made par, I thought, well, you know, worst case scenario, I've uh, you know, at least tied this hole. And yeah, now I'm one down, so. On to number five. We were just prepping the oven with the putter ball through the first few. Rolled the rock well. Marshall didn't care for that birdie too much. However, number five, par four, 398 yards. Tia High let it fly, kind of goes up the hill and then right back down the hill, down to the green. Oh, Marshall hit that one well. That is the speed slot. I think that one could be really good. Touch right. Of Touch course, I was right? trying to get you to hit it. Yeah. But depending on the bounce, that one could be really, really good. That was not the bounce we were looking for. Uh, kicked right, but hey, we, we still got a good uh, good line at it here. Marshall ended up just right of the cart path, down the hill, 123 yards left. That looks good. What a shot, Marshall. About 10 feet right there. Pards, that was nice. Marshall stuck that one in there very close. He's got a great look for birdie. Need to knock this close. In the vlog, I hit this over the green. The pin was in a different location, but I didn't factor in enough downhill. 116, I'm gonna play this just over 100 yards, lob wedge. That ball flew a long ways too. Not a bad swing, a little long. Marshall throwing darts, pulled an arrow out of the quiver. Needed there. one there. I'm right back there, a little long. Marshall is right here.
Do not stop on me! Marshall with the no doubt pin slammer. Well, the dart paid off for you, sir. Yeah, uh, needed that one to uh, get back even with the real Zach Radford. Great putt by Marshall right there. Pin slamming birdie there on number five. Matches all square. We're on to number six, par three, 168 yards. Marshall is playing some golf right now. I mean, another dart. Marsh, you're going to have any arrows left in this quiver of yours? All these darts you're throwing. It's, uh, it's unlimited. Right there. About seven, eight feet, putting back up the hill. And mine is right there, just off the right side. Good shot. Thanks, sir. How does it feel to have the whole putter face to work with? Uh, we're not gonna talk about that again. You know, we're just gonna, we're gonna just make a putt here. All That's right. all we're gonna do. He did it to me again. Marsh, back-to-back -back pin slammers. Back-to-back -back birdies. Uh, that's what it takes to hang in there with uh, the real Zach Radford. I think it's the hat right there. Starting to rain out here, getting some rain on the lens. Marshall's playing some golf, throwing darts. Another birdie for Marshall, moves him to one up. He's playing some golf right now. We're on to number seven, 380 yards, par four straight away. Oh my goodness. Marshall, that was phenomenal. Great swing. That was pummeled exactly where you want it. Oh, I hit that pretty good. It did kick left and just trundle into the rough. Shouldn't be in too bad of that shape. Is the angle you if you're going to miss it one direction on this hole, this is where you want to miss it. This is a great angle into that pin. Didn't quite want to be in the rough, but good angle, 150 yards, probably playing uphill five yards. Not much wind, might jump just a little bit. We're going to hit a smooth pitching wedge, looking for a little bit of a flyer. to that back pin pretty good shot all right Marshall right here great shape 109 yards left pin is right there on the corner of the bunker what club are you going with sir probably gonna go sand wedge um, see if we can't get it all the way back there walk to the back side of the green to film Marshall hit it it's heading just a little left all right he is putting right there, front edge, putting up the hill. Good shot, Marsh. Very nicely done right there. And I am right there. I believe I'll be up first. A little more up the hill than I gave it credit for. All right, anytime, get a two putt with the putter ball, we'll take it. Did Marshall hit it? This is on a really good line. Oh, good roll, a couple feet short. No, 
never a doubt. Marshall is a machine with that full face putter. <laughs> that hole was halved. Marshall is one up. Been a lot of birdies. This has been fun. Birdies. We have two holes left. However, we're gonna have to pause. We're gonna have to head into the clubhouse. There's some storm clouds right there behind us rolling in. Bad, really bad timing for me. Uh, rain clouds roll in just as I'm heating up. We'll see what happens in this rain delay. Hopefully uh, I can find it when we come back out, squeak out the wind. And we're back. I am one down. Marshall hopefully has cooled off. Yeah, that was a longer delay than, uh, than I was hoping for. I don't think that worked in my favor. Uh, I think that's favor Zach, but I am one up at the moment. That's so what I like we'll to hear. See. Two holes left. I am one down. We're on to number eight, par five, 533 yards. Tee it high, let it fly straight away. Marshall has hit that well, fading down the right side, popped a little left, should be just fine. Not in bad shape here, sir. What do you got yep, left? Uh, just a yeah, little layup? Just have a little layup here. Uh, try to get a good number in for a wedge and see what happens. Love it. The green is right back over in there. Marshall's target's going to be right over in there. Hit well. Heading down the left side. All right. Should be a good angle into the green. Into the breeze. 245 yards left. I've got four iron. Didn't come here to lay up. One hundred and fifteen yards left for Marshall. Little wedge, good angle. He slipped, but that did not bother him one bit. Up there putting, just a little right of the flag. All right, here is where I ended up, pin high. I did hit that four iron well. Pretty, pretty big four iron, uh, pin high. Yeah, two forty-five. It was the right distance. Uh, got a little right on you. We'll see. We'll see what you do with the wedge here. Need to land something like right in here. Let it trundle on down. And up and down right here would go a long ways in the match, sir. Gonna, gonna need it. Nice shot. This would be a huge putt for Marshall. Four birdie. Huge momentum swing. Just a bit outside. I'll give that to you, sir. Good part. This would be for a huge birdie to square the match and for the second pin slammer with the putter ball. Let's go! What a tweeter! I wanted to be one up going into the last so that it was guaranteed that I couldn't lose. But apparently Zach has figured out the putter ball and uh, we're even going into the last. So not where we want to be. The final hole, number nine, 375 yard par four straight away. It's for all the marbles, sir. It is. sounded good. Hit that pretty much right where I wanted, down the right side. Everything kicks very hard down to the left. It's actually in the left side of the fairway now. If that gets just a fraction left, that is money. It did clip the tree. It just kicked down to the left. Should be all right. All righty, there is Marshall just off the right side. And there's the green, you can see the pin right there, 130 yards. This could be pretty good. Kicked a little left, went there just short. A lot of slope right to left on this green. I wanna throw it out just a bit to the right 
137 yards pitching wedge. Or we'll just go ahead and throw it right at it and hope it stayed right there. There is where mine ended up just short, putting back up the hill. See what Marshall can do. He's just short, getting ready for his third shot. All righty, little short, putting back up the hill. Oh my goodness. Well, that was unfortunate right there. And Marshall gets the victory today. I kind of rushed those last few putts and lesson learned. You've got to take your time with the putter ball. Don't rush those two, three, four footers because the putter ball will get you. That was a, yeah, kind of a mess there on the last. Marshall got the W. Congrats, I'll, sir. Uh, I'll take the W, a little anticlimactic there at the end. Obviously, the putter ball had a big effect, which I was hoping for. Putter ball helped me out. It was my secret weapon. I've been planning <laughs> that for quite a while now. Yes, he so has. So I was very happy that that worked out. I will say I have a lot of appreciation now for what Zach does. It is very difficult uh, filming these uh, these course vlogs. It's a, it's a lot of work, but uh, hey, I got the win. And I really appreciate Marshall having me down here in Birmingham and for Inverness Country Club to host me for several days. Drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, ring that bell, turn them notifications on. And y'all, until next time, we'll see you when we see Swipe you. Swipe up. Peace. <laughs>